Good evening, everybody. I'm C.J. Ward. And I'm Beth Farnsworth. We begin with the lasting impacts of this month's rainstorms. Some farm workers could not show up to work for weeks because of flooding. And News Channel reporter Karen Cruz Adunia joins us live from Santa Maria tonight. Karen, you spoke with farmers today who say their workers are struggling financially right now. Hey there, Beth and CJ. That's right. So farm workers say that they had to wait over a week to return back to work after the storm. And this is part time only. They only ha were able to work part time. And this is due to the muddy conditions. And now this also put a financial strain to their wallets. Co-owner of Ikeda Brothers, Tom Ikeda, says he is concerned for his employees as this month's storms impacted their jobs for weeks. With the wet fields, uh, there's not a lot they can do, so they haven't been able to work, and, and it's, a, it's a struggle for them as well. Ikeda says he tried to help by rotating workers to work 15 hours a week. That's about all we have for the week, you know, spreading it out with everybody, but that's not, not enough. Uh, uh, for a family to survive. So, you know, there's a lot of concern for them. Advocates with local organization cause says many farm workers across the central coast are struggling financially. During winter season, it is a slower season regardless, and the storm just didn't help. This stormy season not only impacted the central coast, it struck throughout California. Advocates say some farm workers have no choice but to migrate out of state to Oregon or Washington in pursuit of a job. Undocumented farm workers aren't eligible for unemployment, but cause has in the past and continues to advocate for safety net for all for farm workers and um, as well as spreading, you know, information on local resources that we have available. Many employees are back working full time in the fields. Ikeda and advocates hope for more dry weather so farm workers and their families can recover financially. Not only can, you know, in if we're not able to plant, that's less work in the springtime. So, you know, that's a concern of our, ours also is for our employees. Uh, you know, we, we want to give them the work uh, that they need. The local organization says farm workers are still catching up financially, even though they have a job full time right now. And as Garcia mentioned, she says that there are local resources available to farm workers, and those details are on our mobile app and website. For now, live in Santa Maria, I'm News Channel reporter Karen Cruz Arduña. Beth, CJ, back to you. All right, thank you for that, Karen. Thank you, Karen.